What up Sailor Senshi, I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news and merch reviews. I have this huge box. Oh, I'm totally covering my audio. I have this huge box. It's from Manjarake. So I figured I would do a new Manjarake monthly. I also have a smaller box from Manjarake. So I figured I would include both of them in this Manjarake video. I know it's been a while since I did one of these videos. If you are, ugh, okay. If you are curious in how to buy things from Mandrake, make sure to check out the link below. I will link to it. I've done a tutorial on how to buy things from the website, so it makes it super easy. The website looks kind of complicated. It's actually not. It's pretty easy to use, so definitely check it out. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this smaller box so I can see what's in here. I honestly don't remember what I bought. It was a long time ago, and it's just been sitting in the corner of this room for a very long time. So um, yeah, I'm gonna open this and I will find out with you. It's like Christmas. Okay, so in here we have, oh, it looks like a t-shirt and something. I don't know what else I got. Okay, so first off, um, this is, it looks like a glass, Santa Moon. I don't, hmm. it'll take me forever to try to read that. So I'm just gonna open it. Oh, 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 I know what this is. Oh, I'm gonna be careful because I don't wanna break it. This thing is so rare and so hard to find. Okay, so this is, I, I think this was from the Sailor Moon exhibition from like 2016. I did go there, but this was sold out. This is a color changing glass. It's just a little like wine glass or something, but it's color changing. Uh, so I think what happens is when you put like cold items in here, maybe, or maybe it's hot items, I'll have to check. But uh, the color of Sailor Moon and the stars will change. There's also a really pretty little crystal at the front of this glass and it's also colored pink at the bottom. So it's a really, really pretty glass. So, so hard to find. I think there are others in this series too for all of the inner senshi but the only one that I have been able to find was this one. So I was like, I have to get that. So I went ahead and found it on Mandrake. I'm so happy that I found it too, because I was super bummed when I went to the exhibition and they didn't have it in stock there. So I'm gonna set this aside so I don't break it because y'all know me, I break everything. Okay, I'm sniffing it because I was really worried that I would get a t-shirt from like somebody that smoked or something like that and I didn't want it to smell like smoke. So anyway, this is a Bandai shirt. It's a medium. So it's a, I think it's a men's shirt, but this is a beautiful manga illustration on the front of it. Uh, and then at the bottom it says Sailor Moon, the 20th anniversary memorial tribute. So. I don't remember like how you could get this shirt, but I've seen it for a long time. It says MTV Live 2014 supported by Shidax with Live Dam. And then Bishol Josenshi Sela Moon, the 20th anniversary memorial tribute in Zep Tokyo. So it's almost like a, oh, that's so pretty. Oh, oh, it's like concert shirt. See, it has memorial Clover Z, who did the um, the newer theme song for Crystal on here. So it's got a bunch of different artists down there at the bottom. But this is a nice thick shirt. It's 100% cotton and I just loved it because of that manga illustration on the front. I love getting items that have manga illustrations because it's kind of hard to find those. So really, really pretty. Okay, so moving on to this much larger box from Mandrake. I think this is big because I got an umbrella but don't quote me on that. I'm pretty sure that's what is in here. So let's unpack it and then we'll find out. Okay. Um, oops. Okay. Um, these look like they are brand new. I don't think they've ever been used. Okay, so this one is UV care, sunblock and heat. It is not for rain, has a Toei sticker on it. This is from the Super Groupies Femme collaboration, I think. This is cute because it has a little Sailor Moon brooch, a uh, little charm hanging off of it. It's got a red bow and it's very much the colors of Sailor Moon's Fuku. It's got some pretty, pretty lace detailing at the bottom and it's gold as well as the blue stripes and a red bow. There you can see the red bow really well and it's a really, really nice parasol. However, this isn't something that I would necessarily take outside because it, you can't use it in the rain, uh, but this would be good for the sun. So it does have that UV protections. So this is really cute. I don't think I'll ever use it, but it is a very cute, cute umbrella. 
The second umbrella is a transparent plastic material. So this is definitely something that is very trendy in Japan. So this is from a line of umbrellas. There were three different ones that you can get. It might have been from a random collection. So you could just get one in a random group. Is this an Ichiban Kuchi? I think it might be. So if I open this one, I'll show you what the print looks like. Uh, I really like these transparent ones because it makes it so much easier to see what's around you. Definitely made for the rain. Uh, on the outside, you can see silhouettes of Chibi Moon as well as Sailor Moon from Sailor Moon Crystal and some very cute bow and lace and polka dot detailing all around. And the whole thing is in pink as well as that transparent material. So you can see through it, which is really cool. This one I would use uh, since it is so simplistic. It was also pretty inexpensive to buy too. I will note though, you have to be pretty careful with plastic umbrellas because if you don't fold them incorrectly, you can end up tearing the plastic. So when you fold it back up after use, uh, definitely be careful and make sure that none of the pieces are like stuck to each other and make sure that everything is kind of nicely tightly wound whenever you're shedding it. So it's cute. I like it. I waited to get this item, which you can probably tell what it is through the bubble wrap, but this is the stick and rod moon prism edition. This is from the pretty guardians membership line. Uh, but this is the stick and rod, uh, stands basically that you could get through the fan club. The only difference I believe is with the box. If you got the one that was just through premium Bandai, uh, it was the same exact products. The, the box itself was just a little bit different. I was waiting to get these because I wanted to find them at a reasonable price. Uh, usually I would find these and they would be like twice as much as the premium Bandai edition. So I was like, dude, I'm going to wait until somebody actually, you know, shares these online and they aren't too expensive. Uh, this is the art that came on the Pretty Guardians version. So this art is just for the membership version, the, the fan club version. So it features this really pretty gold foil around the corners with this gorgeous art of Sailor Moon in the middle. And on the inside, we have each of Sailor Moon's wands from all of the different seasons. Each of these comes with a stand, and I'm not sure if they light up or not, so I will find out for you and I will get that in B-roll if they do. So you have the moon stick, the cutie moon rod, the spiral heart moon rod, the moon kaleidoscope and the eternal tiara. This is really pretty and even though the box is gorgeous, I'm definitely going to be displaying these out of the box right next to all of the transformation pens that I also have from the previous stick and rod uh, limited edition group that I purchased a long time ago. So the rest of the items that I got are pretty small. Um, I believe that I just added these on because they were at the same store, so it didn't cost any additional to stick them in the box. Uh, so I'll go ahead and open these packages and show you the little items that I got. I got a couple of clear files. This first one is from the Sailor Moon exhibition and it features a gorgeous rendition of Sailor Moon, uh, just like the tapestry that was hanging at the expedition. I do have some video of the expedition if you want me to show it in a video in the future sometime. Uh, I don't think I'm going to cover it because it was old and it's over now, but I could definitely show you the footage that I got. Uh, but I got this clear file, which is very pretty. I also got this clear file, which is also from the exhibition. And this one features a manga illustration of all of the Sailor Senshi. This is one of my absolute favorite uh, styles of them. It's one of my favorite pieces of art from the series. So I really, really wanted to get this clear file as well. I got this teeny tiny little exhibition pin badge, which I'm going to hang up with my other pin badges in my collection. This adorable little cleaning pouch is for your smartphone. This is supposed to be like antimicrobial and you can stick your phone in it and then stick it in your purse and it's supposed to keep it from getting all dirty or anything and keep it from getting damaged. So that's a really nice little thing that I can actually use for my smartphone because all they sell are items for iPhones. They never sell anything for a Pixel. And that's what I have as a pixel, but I can put it in a little pouch, so I'm down with that. A quite simple little Ichiban Kuji hen towel featuring the three outer senshi. However, it does not include Sailor Saturn, even though it totally should, because Sailor Saturn's amazing and strong. I don't know what's in here. Let's find out. Oh! Whoa, this is a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Uh, this is Sa a Sailor Chibi Moon Duralex cup. It's like a little mug. And uh, I thought it would be much bigger, 
but I guess not. But it is still very, very cute. This is from the Sailor Moon Cafe, which also happened a couple of years ago. It's very hard to find the Sailor Moon one, but the Sailor Chibi Moon one you can generally find pretty often. So I went ahead and got the Sailor Chibi Moon one. I'll get the Sailor Moon one whenever I actually find it. Last but definitely not least are a few other small items like this Little Charms Sailor Moon 3 series, a Silence Glaive, which is really cute. I got this great little, I'm gonna call it a bathroom pouch because that's what it seems like to me. But this is like a little pouch that you can put all of your necessities in and your makeup and stuff like that. It's a mesh pouch. So it kind of spreads out like that, and it just has the mesh interior. Uh, on the back side we have Princess Serenity, and on the front is Sailor Moon, and this is from the Tenq, I think that's how you say it, collaboration. Uh, but this is also an older item, so, but it's a very nice usable item, so I wanted to get this because I can actually use this. And the very last item, but definitely not the least item that I have in here, is this really cute large towel that I got that says giants all over it and it features the inner Sailor Senshi. It's so very cute. So the reason why I love these giants towels, I have two of them now, is because I'm in the San Francisco Bay Area and here we have the San Francisco Giants and the San Francisco Giants are the same exact colors as these giants from, where are they from? Tokyo? Yokohama? Are they from Yokohama? I don't know. I don't know, but they're the same colors. So I think it's really cool to have something from Japan that feels like it's kind of sporty for the US. Even though I'm not a sports ball person, uh, I still think it's really cool because it reminds me of my local town. So cute. Also very soft and really, really nice art. So that is everything for today. I really enjoy opening boxes from Mandrake. I think that they have such a slew of awesome items to grab and to make yours. And they're also very unique and special and hard to find. So it's really cool whenever you can find that one thing that you've been missing, like that cup, that color changing glass. I've been looking for that thing for like two years. So I was so excited when I found that for a decent price as well. Comment below, let me know what your favorite item was. And if you want me to do a review of any of these items any further into detail for you, I will definitely be showing these off as well over on my Instagram channel, which is at Sailor Snubs. So make sure to follow me over there as well. I love engaging with everybody. I love chatting with you and having conversations. It's so much fun. So make sure to let me know that you're watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, I'm Sailor Snubs. Thank you again. I'll see you next time. Jenny.